What exactly is NinjaTrader Cash? What does it do? Why is this useful? How do I clear it and why would I want to? These questions and more answered shortly. Stay tuned. Simply put, your NinjaTrader Cash is simply a historical record of all of the chart data. Whether it's your tick data, as I have pulled up here in this folder, or minute data, or daily data, or whatever it is, it's just a organizational structure and all of the actual data that is downloaded when you pull up a chart. So if you have no cache, and you launch a chart for the very first time, NinjaTrader has to build this cache in order to display it. What happens is you connect to your data feed, it tells it what instruments you're allowed to pull data from, and what contracts are available, et cetera, et cetera. You open up a chart and the chart tells it exactly what you need based off of how many days back you go, amongst other settings. And then the first part of opening a chart, if you look at the bottom right of your control center, it'll say downloading information. It downloads all of that data and puts it into tiny little files in your documents, NinjaTrader, database, yada, yada. Uh, depending on what type of data it is, if it's tick data, minute data, whatever, and stores it so that it can be manipulated and displayed on the chart. So you'll notice over here I'm in my tick cache folder in the NinjaTrader 7 uh, database folder, and I only have the DAO and Euro Japan in there. So I'm going to open up a NASDAQ chart to show you it being built. There we go, click OK. So you'll see down here it is loading data and as the data is loading you can see the cache coming in. So this folder was just created. If I go back you'll see, there we go, in queue data for 1215 contracts. And there we have it. So you'll notice that there are a lot of files in here and this is all of the tick data so far for the NASDAQ March 2016 contract. Now you'll see these files are actually organized quite well right down to their file names. We've got the year, the month, the day, and what hour it is. So 2016, 04 for April, 05 for today's the 5th, and 2200, which is obviously military time, uh, for the 10 p.m. hour, which we are still technically in. It is 9.17. Um, but these files end, think of the close of the hour, so the close will be at 10 o'clock. Um, now this cache right here, this file, is being built live as we speak. You'll notice that some of them are varying in file sizes. Well, since I'm on the NASDAQ chart, NQ doesn't really get that busy uh, at certain times of the day. If you scroll up and look, you'll see some of these file sizes are much, much larger, like from the nine o'clock hour till about the uh, four o'clock hour. That seems to be about the busiest time for the NASDAQ. Gee, I wonder why. Without getting too technical and sparing you all of the nitty gritty details on exactly all of the inner workings of this, just know that when you're building the cache live, you might not necessarily be filling it with all of the right data, especially if it's on a heavily traded instrument like the NASDAQ, uh, during a busy time of the day. So there are tons and tons of volume coming in on this chart and you might only be getting 10 or 15 percent of the actual ticks that happen because they happen so fast. And as we learned in a previous video, your bandwidth is somewhat throttled by the data provider so they just can't quite push all of that information to you. Which leads us to why we would want to clear our cache. I've taken the liberty to use my amazing Microsoft Paint skills to provide you guys with this excellent visual. It goes without saying, if you don't have all of the data that took place on a certain date and time, then your chart's not going to be a true factual representation of what actually took place on that date and time. Sometimes it can cause things like gaps in data or crazy looking spikes where you have just a short jump or a quick jump up and a slow trend where it might have been nothing there at all. It could cause all kinds of things, including your charts not matching those in your room. This happens quite often where someone uh, writes a ticket into the help desk saying, hey, my chart doesn't match Maryland's or Lori's or anyone else's in the room. What's, what's going on? 
And this is simply because you didn't clear your cash and they do on a regular basis. So their charts are actually showing a representation of what actually took place, whereas yours is missing some of the data and your chart is doing its best to kind of fill in the gaps. But it doesn't know for sure if the market like did a little hook or whatever. You get what I'm trying to say. By now, you should have a decent understanding of what the cash is and what its function is. What does it do? Well, it allows you to quickly open charts so you don't have to download everything all over again. But now we need to know how to get rid of it. Well, there's the easy way and there's the hard way. The hard way, the way we used to do it, is to actually manually go to these folders and delete all of this data one by one. Or now you can load our toolkit, which I have a shortcut here. If you're like me and you don't have a shortcut on your desktop because you like everything to be neat and tidy, you can press the Windows key and start typing Apex and you will see it right here. So to clear your cache is simple. Tools, clear cache. You're given two options. Note that you must close down NinjaTrader before you do either one of these, and I'll show you why in a moment. Uh, clear recent NinjaTrader data cache, option one. Option two is clear all NinjaTrader data cache. Simply put, clear recent NinjaTrader data cache erases the last five-ish days worth of data. Um, and then clear all literally nukes all of the cache. Just gone, see ya. Option one, clear recent NinjaTrader data cache. If you trade every day, use this option each time before you open your charts to maintain correct data. For data errors, toolkit updates, or if you have skipped more than one day of trading, use the clear all data option. So this option is for people who want to perform constant maintenance so that their charts are kept up to date. You should probably do this every single day. Uh, if you want to proceed, just click yes, and it will wipe everything from the last five days from all of the different instruments and data that you have. Now, if you try to remove all data, which is this option, clear all NinjaTrader data cache, it will say, use this option if you have corrupted data, broken charts, if you've upgraded your toolkit, should also note that if you've had to, for whatever reason, roll back your toolkit version. If for any reason you've changed your toolkit version, clear all of your cache. It's also for if you've had to reset your database in NinjaTrader or adjust any settings in NinjaTrader whatsoever, if you're having any kind of issues with NinjaTrader, first troubleshooting step is to clear all of your cache. Uh, if it's been more than a day or so since you've cleared your cache or actually opened up any charts, you should also clear all of your cache. Uh, note, clearing all data will cause your charts to take longer to load, but the data will load cleanly. This is very important. Keeping your cache helps your charts load a lot faster. As we learned in a previous video, the longest part of the process of opening a chart is actually downloading all of the data. Especially when you have a lot of charts to open, it can take a while to download all of that data before your computer can even process the information. So if you wipe out all of your data, it has to download it all again. So just keep note of that if you wonder why is it taking so long to open up NinjaTrader? when it didn't earlier this morning, but oh yeah, I had to clear my data because I was having an issue and support told me to. Anyway, so if I wanna click yes to proceed, you'll see it'll give me a message to shut down NinjaTrader. Obviously it can't clear the cache if I have NinjaTrader open. So we have to close NinjaTrader first. All right, so nope. Now that NinjaTrader is closed, you will see it change its message. to deleting files. And it's going through and, well, there wasn't a whole lot for it to delete. If you open up a bunch of charts and you've got a lot of data, it could take a little while, maybe 30 seconds or so. Uh, but as you can see, all the folders are gone and along with them, all of the cache. Once your cache is wiped, you can just close the Apex Investing Toolkit for NinjaTrader and reopen NinjaTrader connect to your data feed and download all of that historical information all over again. Hopefully this time it'll be clean data, problem free and ready for action or something. At any rate, I hope this video was informative and useful to you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section of the forum below or on YouTube. 
preferably on the forum because it has greater visibility and on YouTube, it might take me a while to actually get to the comments. So please, leave comments in the forum and I'll try and help you out. I'm Austin with Apex Investing and happy trading.